Once upon a time he was a mythical creature Always showing off Welcome to the fourth ever Everyday Centaur Podcast. I'm one of your hosts, Preston Harsey, and I am here with... Peyton Vrimo. All right. And this guy. Same as last week. Chaz Samson. Yes. And uh, something really awesome happened this week. I'm not sure if you guys know about it. The 20th anniversary of Pokemon. Yes. Do you know what happened yesterday? What's that? Pokemon Sun and Moon were announced. Oh, yeah. That's all about that. I read yeah. my Reddit feed. Uh, very few details have been announced, uh, although the, avail- the availability to transfer some of your Game Boy Advance Pokemons from the older Pokemons are going to be there. I know nothing about Pokemon, but I saw Classic this name. cool thing. Y'all watch It's Always Sunny? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they did the sun, day man, and the moon was night man and had the picture of it. <laughs> I was like, that's funny. I don't know anything about Pokemon. I think Charlie Day funny. would make an excellent Pokemon. Yeah. Uh, I saw, that since we're talking about Pokemon, I saw a uh, an article talking about how Pokemon cards are now uh, being sold and they're worth a lot of money now. Like I think a, a Charizard, a holographic Charizard. That yeah, was those have always of, been worth some bank. It's sell. It, the Japanese one is selling for like thirty thousand dollars on eBay. Jesus Christ! It it's never worth that yeah, much. Yeah. And so so they're talking about hope you saved your Pokemon cards, and I'm like, I can't. I don't think I have any. I still have my Yu-Gi-Oh cards though. <laughs> um, I let my brother Blake uh, borrow my Pokemon cards to look at. I had a binder, and yeah, he left them outside in the rain. Yeah. I left my Yu-Gi-Oh cards out in the rain. That's weird. Didn't cards in rain just don't go. You would think they'd solve that. I recently left some magic cards out in the rain. Yeah. It never ends. We just need to start laminating all of our cards. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. And then we can, uh, I would think, like, Gambit style. You could yeah. just, like, they'd be so durable, you could throw them at people and injure them. Fiction comes to life. But I, 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 I want to get into this because I feel like you tried to scapegoat here. Um... <laughs> You didn't play Pokemon? <laughs> I did not. <laughs> and and what I was thinking the whole time was all these cards got left out in the rain, right? right. But when I think of people playing card games, they don't go outside, do they? How not the crap did they get out in the rain? Your you parents force in the you, Your parents force you to go outside. Oh, no. yeah. And so you bring your inside toy outside. No. But isn't it like a multiplayer game? You just sit out there and play it on a stump. You're missing the Hobbit. The point. You're missing the point. <laughs> a made up. It's, Hobbit. it's like a it's like a totem. Like you have to bring it with you everywhere you go. You train them. Yes. Yeah. Like you yeah. have to bring them with you. They're your friends. I I, have, I went through a phase like that. What was it called? The Neopet? Wasn't a phase. No. It's lifestyle. It's a, no, no. <laughs> Mine was a phase because I got in big trouble because it kept going off in my book bag like in third grade. And my teacher was like, you go feed that thing. Don't bring it back tomorrow. <laughs> and I tried to get Neopets. I can't remember. I, I, had I, had a, one. I had a Tamagotchi, but it wasn't my Tamagotchi. It was my sister's Tamagotchi. And I think it already had tuberculosis. <laughs> so when She's I like, got it. You take it. <laughs> and I didn't have the instructions. And there's like three buttons on it. And they had these weird symbols by them. And I didn't understand it. So I think I just kept giving the new Tamagotchi I got tuberculosis until they all just died from interesting tuberculosis how did the tamagotchi work if you if you if it died did it stay dead and you just you never just got a piece of plastic just, it, yeah. it died there's a little i believe from what i remember there was a gravestone and then it said r.i.p on it and then you have to hit the reset button like on the oh, back okay. and then it just resets so there's no consequences for letting things die what does that teach children you're right and I know a lot of kids were like, hey, if you let me uh, get this Tamagotchi, I'll show that I can get a puppy. Why do you keep scapegoating? <laughs> Why didn't you play Pokemon? I don't know. Just didn't get into it. My mom always Did you have a Game Boy? <laughs> yes, I did, but I did not play Pokemon. You that was a- the only reason to buy a Game Boy was to play Pokemon. No, I, got a ga- I got the Pikachu Yellow edition of the Game Boy so that I could have Pokemon Yellow. See, everybody had Pokemon Yellow or whatever, but I didn't. I still had my Game Boy, and I was playing stuff like Metroid and, you know, the other classics, not not Pokemon. I'm sorry. I feel, I feel like you're trying to get us on a Metroid tangent now. Metroid! Like, Metroid! She's a woman! <laughs> there were they can do things now, like what? Boat. <laughs> what? What? And roll into a ball and drop bombs. <laughs> yeah, that happens. I think it was just the one. I think it was just Nat- her that was doing that. Natalie Portman did drop some bombs. She did drop some bombs. On SNL. Yeah. Oh, that was really good. Have you seen her rap? I, yeah. I'm sorry, no. She went no. to Harvard, yeah. Really? And then went to SNL. Yeah. I feel like that was a downgrade. No, it definitely was. Yeah. <laughs> 
she could have done anything with her life, but then she did Your Highness. So I didn't know. see it. Yeah, you, it was, James Franco was in okay. it, right? Yeah. Danny McBride. He was in it. That sounds like I an incredible in movie. It. it had some hee hee moments, not really many ha ha moments. It just uh, just not not mm, strong. Yeah. There were twelve Pokemon games. <laughs> Well, there's well, been like six 14. generations. There are 14? There are 14, <laughs> yeah. Like, how do you miss all of them? I just did. I don't know. Get Sun and Moon. Get did you have a GameCube? No, I didn't. Okay. Well, because I. It was impossible to not get my like, list of okay. Nintendo products. I had a uh, NES, mm-hmm. then I skipped to a 64. It, wasn't there something in between? I don't know. Uh, no. There there's a Super Nintendo. Okay. I might have had one of those too. I don't know. See, that's the product of being raised in a divorced family. In my dad's house, I had no, PlayStation. No, no, no. Don't pull the divorced oh, family. Man. I was in a divorced family, and I played plenty of Pokemon. Dad's house had PlayStation. Mom's house had Nintendo yeah. and all the handhelds. Pokemon was the only escape from my terrible life at the time. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want mom or dad? I'm just like, I want Pikachu. I, want, I, I don't care about either of you. Why won't Brock and, <laughs> why won't Brock and Misty join me on my adventures? Yeah. It was terrible. They, I played. Po- everybody fights over Pokemon Red and Blue. I played Yellow because it gave me companionship. <laughs> it and was I the have only friend. No idea what y'all are talking. about. You know about. the new one. You know what you Pikachu did. is. Come on. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> you know what a Pikachu is. Is that Detective Pikachu a real thing? Yes. Or is that like? Yes. Oh my God. Yes. That's a real thing. Dude, I've dude, seen dude. the Danny DeVito voice. Yeah, we there. talked about that on the first episode. Um, yeah. The Have you seen the? Uh, there's a There's yeah. a Change Me Change dot org or so, petition. To get Danny DeVito to voice uh, Pikachu in Which the United is, States version, all of, of it was Pikachu. from "It's Always Sunny." All I just, his lives. I yeah, just, I just love that we have so many issues across the world. But there is a petition taking off for Danny DeVito to voice Pikachu. These, These are, are the issues, issues that matter. That, <laughs> that and Deadpool hosting Saturday Night Live, like those are the two things that have really taken off. Do you think that can happen? No, no, because it, I mean, essentially, it would just become it would be Ryan Reynolds. Hosting Saturday Night Live, right? But he's just, you know what? The more I describe this, the more awesome it sounds. I just what I'm saying. Yeah. Like you're, you're yeah. making it sound better. It, it's a good idea. So they're going to do a rated R Saturday Night Live. Yeah, that's the thing. I yeah, don't they think they will do that. Do that. Yeah. And also Saturday Night Live, you know, they they play it safe. Yeah. They, they they've been doing that for a while, and that's why their ratings have declined. Yeah. Yeah. What are we we're talking about this episode? I feel like we. Well, what are we <laughs> talking about? This well, I, 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 yeah. We're, we're getting into this Pokemon business because yeah. this is some pretty important stuff. We're getting into the Pokemon. How's the business? weather outside? <laughs> it was cold, Chaz. I haven't left the house this morning. Pokemon. You could have played Pokemon. I could have. <laughs> you had plenty of time. You know, what? I'll just download an emulator right now. Yeah, just and do that. I'll get. I'll know all about Pokemon by the end of this show. <laughs> Oh man! That's the thing. No, you won't. <laughs> as much Pokemon as me and Preston have played, I don't think we know any, all of them. There's like there, back in our day, which I hate saying that it, there were only 151. Back in our day, there were only 151 Pokemon. 152. Uh, is that 151 including Mew? No, no, it's not including Mew. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, word, word from our producer. Yeah. So, but now there's like 700. Some, some odd yeah, with so, all the generations and it's I remember just... being extremely upset whenever I was a kid because I didn't have any friends to play with uh, and I didn't have two Game Boys therefore it was impossible and the only thing I cared about was Pokemon I was a Pokemon fanatic but I couldn't beat any of the Pokemon games because yeah. you have to catch all the Pokemon and and I thought whenever I got yellow that that would be the version that had all the Pokemon from right. red and blue no. No, because you have to trade some of them exactly. for the, them to evolve. You have to trade, and it was an, it, basically they shipped three incomplete games. Yeah. Which is something they're not doing uh, with the new Fire Emblem series. If you guys have heard of that, mm. of course. Well, uh, <laughs> there traditionally are two different types of uh, Fire, Fire Emblem games. Those are more character centric, and those are more strategy centric. Yeah. And it's like all the families and bloodlines and stuff. And they have one game where you choose one of six families, and there's six different plot lines. And there's one version where you don't choose any, and you keep going. Two different versions of the same game, essentially, but they play completely differently. I feel like if that's the way they did the Pokemon like duality stuff, I'd like it, but. It's cr- it crushes your dreams. You're still tuned in. God bless you. <laughs> because I, I almost left. <laughs> Fire on them. Okay, great. Let's go. Okay, going on to our next topic here.